Okay, guys, uh, this is just the continuation of the integration of rational functions. Like whenever you have uh, to integrate something and you, you, you find a fraction there. So the first thing that should come in your mind is when, whenever you see a rational function that if uh, the denominator over here, look at this denominator, if it has its derivative up here, like if it is in this form, kf dash of x, like if I write it like this, this is basically like this f dash of x over f of x, and we keep this k outside here, okay? So you see that uh, in this case, x cubed minus one's derivative is three x squared. So you can write it as two into three x squared over x cubed minus one. So this is written in this form. And if you look at this one here, this is cos x over one plus sine x. So you see that one plus sine x derivative is cos x. So this is satisfying this condition over here. Similarly, x squared minus five x plus one's derivative is two x minus five. So you can really write it as two into two x minus five over this x squared minus five x plus one dx, okay? And similarly, this cotangent x can be written as um, um, cos x over sine x. So this is absolutely in the form uh, that we are talking about. And for this one, you will be writing it as minus, uh, there is uh, minus two uh, x over, um, 2 minus x squared dx, and I should write this as minus 1 over 2. So we have we had to multiply and divide with minus 2 because 2 minus x squared's derivative is minus 2x. So we want this to be minus 2x instead of x. Okay. And for the last one, this is clearly uh, 1 plus tan x derivative is secant square x. So all of these, uh, they are uh, exactly in this form where you can write their derivative as, like this can be written as two ln x cubed minus one plus c. This is your, right away this is ln one plus sine x, okay, plus c. This one is two ln so guys, we have already discussed this in, uh, I think that was 5A, yes? That was the exercise 5A, uh, like uh, I remember. And similarly, you can write it as ln sine x plus c, and like, you know, you can uh, see that how to write the derivatives of the next ones.